All right. Cool. So I'm doing number nine in 19.2 just to warm up. So I've got a vector field. It's three, negative two, six, which is weird, right? So what does this vector field look like? Um, it's right up and back towards you. I mean, if you're assuming from, you're looking at from the axis of the plane. But. Yeah, so this vector, right? Three, negative two, six, that's always the same vector, mm -hmm. right? So this thing just looks like motion in the direct, or flow in the direction, three, negative two, six, wherever you were. You guys see this? So that's like, if I've got my usual x, y, and z, right? That's like flow kind of that way or something. Mm -hmm. You guys see that? And just everywhere, everything's just kind of going along parallel to that. And I want to know the flux through some function, f of x and y is 4x minus 2y over some rectangle. What the heck do they mean to flux through a function? To the surface of the function. Yeah, really through the graph of the function, right? So first things first, I need to remember how flux integrals work. So flux is the yeah, it's the amount of flow, right? So I need the double integral over the surface of the flow dotted with area vector. Oh yeah, I need an area vector, right? So really I do the integral over the surface of f dotted with dA, right? And then the way I'm going to actually execute that is I'm going to do a double integral over the surface, right? Of f evaluated at, at, at the small f, like the fx bar. Fx bar. Yeah, at r of whatever your yeah, I, I don't know yet, but whatever your parameter values are, right? Because you've got a two-dimensional object, right? Your surface, and you're going to parameterize that using two variables. So you're going to get some surface parameterization, right? You're going to feed that to f, which is totally not going to matter on this problem. Why? Like, why doesn't it matter for this part? Yeah, because your vector field's constant, right? Your vector field gives no flux where you are. I bought a mug, by the way, that has a flux integral that says no flux given on it. And I will give that to the finest 3D printed project this semester. So whoever wins that, and if there's more than, so if there's more than one of you with a project that's really awesome, I'll buy another mug and give it to you. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, this is constant, right? So this is just going to be your vector field anyway. And then you need to dot with the cross product of uh, R. The cross product of the partials of R. Partials yeah, of R and whatever order whatever depends on what orientation they want. <laughs> yeah, so there's kind of a blank spot here that I need to fill in, right? And then I'm going to integrate with respect to those two things you're filling in. Okay, so what's your parameterization for a function's graph? X comma y comma f of x. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this whole business should tell you that your r should be a function of x and y, and it should be x comma y comma f of x and y. That's cool with that. Okay, what was f? f of x and y, though? You can dump that. It's just 3 to y. No. 4x minus 2y. 4x minus 2y, right? Mm. You guys see this? OK, so filling in my how to actually execute this thing, this is do f at r of x and y. Oh, did they give me an orientation in here? Upward. Oh yeah, they said oriented upward, right? 
So to get oriented upward, you need which cross which? X crosses Y, correct? Yeah. Right hand rule, right? X axis, Y axis, up. Cool. And then I'm going to integrate. So what are your what are your variables of integration here? They're going to be x and y. Uh, does it matter which order you go in? It's over a rectangle, so it doesn't matter. And so, what are your x bounds over your rectangle? Zero to five, and your y bounds are zero to ten. Is all good with that? Okay, so to actually evaluate here, I get the integral from 0 to 10, the integral from 0 to 5. Uh, what's f evaluated at r of x and y? 3, negative 2, 16. Because it's 4x minus 2y? So this should be this thing, right? Evaluated when x is x, when y is y, and when z is 4x minus 2y. Oh. But there's no x's, oh. y's, or z's in your vector field. Okay. So it's always just, right, 3, negative 2, 6, which is really just saying the flow is always the same regardless of where you are. You guys pull that? Question What does the capital R stand for? So the capital R is just over the rectangle. That was just given in the problem. So they told me, I need to calculate the flux through the surface given by the graph of F over the rectangle R. Cool, cool. All right. So now I need dotted with, uh-oh. I'm going to have to go get that from somewhere, right? Yeah, see, I'm kind of like missing a chunk here. So, where do you go get your chunk you're missing? Yeah, you better take the like partials of f, or, well, partials of r, right, and cross them. So, I need rx and ry, and if I'm doing a good job, I'll write them in the right order. So that I don't have to slap a minus sign on kind of like I did yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so all that? You wrote in the right order. Okay, so I need to take Rx and cross with Ry. Cool. So what are my what's Rx? 104. 104. Cool. And Ry is 0, 1, negative negative two. 2. 0, 1, negative 2. By the way, did we get like a shortcut for this yesterday when we we're specifically doing R of X and Y equals X. Yeah, I gave you a shortcut yesterday, but I can never remember it. Um, I actually have it written right in front of me. I know, but I'm not going to have it written down on the test, right? Okay, fair enough. Negative. You might as well prove it again. So, negative 4. Yeah, so the thing is, if you guys want to memorize that thing, have at it. I'm too dumb to remember all three of them, right? And you need those. This one, the one for spherical and the one for cylindrical, and to hope that I only give you one of those three things on the test, right? So you might as well just remember so this. So you may as well just remember how to do it. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right, so when you do this cross product, what do you get out? Negative 4. Um, Wait. Negative 4. Go to. Two. Two and nothing. One. Wait. One. So that's. Oh, me. sorry. Got the zero in the wrong place. Is it all good with that? What? Say that louder, Bruce. This should be a vector. This is a cross product, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, so if I was writing this down in the in the way the book writes cross product, I would get four i plus two j plus k, right? Negative four i plus two j plus k. Which as a vector is so my answer for Rx cross with Ry is the vector negative four two one. 
And the reason I'm writing it like that, instead of with the eyes, shades, and case, is I'm going to have to dot product that with something. And for me, for whatever reason, it's easier to write or to calculate dot products when they're written like this. So I'm going to do put that in for Rx cross Ry. Is it all good with us? And so I'm going to get out of this, what? The integral from 0 to 10, the integral from 0 to 5 of what? Number. Good answer. <laughs> uh, so I think I got negative 12 minus 4 plus 6 yes. is negative 10. Negative 10. D Yes, dy. Let's all see that. Yep. Okay. And that is negative five hundred. Should we just five hundred? Yep. Five hundred. Oh, oh, never mind. So it's negative ten times the area of the rectangle, and the rectangle is five by ten. You skipped two steps. Okay. Cool. Cool. So what does this mean? There is a lot of flux not going the direction you want. Yeah, so this thing's going kind of against you, right? Severely. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you see that? Cool, cool. Questions, Steels? Okay. If everything's going your way, 